Hey guys, the studio is all finished up. Howard and I finished the wiring today. Everything is in place for the most part. All the conduit is ran. That's uh, my wiring. It comes in, there's a uh, four gang uh, box behind there, as well as a, some outlets there. It goes down. There's um, more underneath of the desk. There's a double gang box down there, as well as one behind the refrigerator for powering that and any other accessories. Now I did move my recliner in here and my mini fridge. Anyway, I moved the computer in. That's that new CAD computer that I built and set it up initially in here. I'll, uh, I'll be getting a, a new monitor fairly soon. Uh, in the moving activities this weekend, uh, that monitor got scratched up, but uh, things happen. So, and it was a, a small monitor anyway, so I was looking for a, a 27 inch. So that's what I'll go to here in the future. Here you can see my new backdrop set up. I installed a couple of clips up on the wall there. Gives it a nice curved backdrop for, uh, for just a nice even white background where you can get those nice longer angled shots. So here I fired up the photo booth area lighting. I've turned the track lighting on as well as the overhead fluorescent lights. Now in the fluorescent lights I put in some cool white bulbs there around that 4100K value, which I think meshes pretty nicely with the uh, normal halogen floods that I've got in that track lighting there. So I'm using that 4x8 sheet of 045 styrene, and what that allows me to do is get those nice wide angle shots of a truck without uh, running out of backdrop or having to move things around. So I'm very happy with that. It's much nicer than using that uh, smaller like 36 inch roll of white paper that I was using before so I'm uh, I think that'll be a big improvement and I think it'll be nice to uh, to work with in future videos now one thing I do want to do is get that camera trolley set up like I was using before in the shop so that'll be a project here for the upcoming weeks install a second piece of track lighting up here on the ceiling uh, in the middle of the room. This one's controlled off of the wall switches. It is also on a dimmer uh, and that can be aimed. I've got one here aiming at the display case which I showed you guys previously as well as a couple of just uh, aimed randomly in the room now. Uh, I did want to be able to dim all these lights just to kind of give it a uh, don't have to, I don't want it to have to be so bright all of the time. So that's all I got guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed my quick build on my new studio area. It's been a fun little project and I'm glad it got tackled as quickly as it did. I am really looking forward to that 3D printer showing up soon and uh, hope to fill that area on my desk with it as soon as it comes in. Hope to have it in the next week or two and after that I'm sure I'll be uh, pumping out some more videos on things like that. So uh, follow along guys and hopefully we'll find some stuff that's fairly interesting to print. So we'll see you guys later.